Good morning, good morning. From Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group with the Morning Market Stir for Monday, August 15th. Stocks were steady on the day on Friday and the week did make record all-time highs across the board on Thursday. So on a weekly basis, we had the S&P up one point, 0.1%. The Dow futures gained a bit, up 0.2% to continue this upward streak. Action in the currencies was steady as well, with the dollar continuing to come down, approaching that 95 level. The euro currency gained 60 points on the leak, week, approaching uh, 112. The action for the day was crude oil. Crude oil was up 2.5%, up a dollar, and gaining $2.70 for, for the week. So building on that reversal the week prior, and now at one month highs. Gold was down 60 cents, so that was steady as well, And as, as we've seen this summer slumber sessions. So after the negative action or the inaction last week. Where do things stand here on Monday morning? Well, we're positive a bit in the stock index futures, up five in the S&P, up 50 in the Dow, and up 10 in the NASDAQ. Approaching those records one more time, the uh, euro currency is right at 112 right now, and the dollar index is at 95.60. Talked about that 95. As that continues to go lower, that can be supportive of commodities, gold, and crude. Speaking of crude, another 40 cents higher, 44.90. 45.15 was the high of this session. So again, one month highs there as OPEC talks about uh, production uh, cuts. Looking at gold right now, that's steady at 1343. So to wrap up this current action with half an hour to go before the cash stock market opens, stocks are steady to higher, up five in the S&P, up 50 in the Dow, and up 10 in the NASDAQ. What's got my attention is the VIX. We had a key reversal last week, new annual lows and a higher weekly close, and we're back up again this morning, up to 12. So that may be a caution sign to pay attention to, but let's remember that this is the middle of August and volumes are low. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.